Students of Cisco Networking are very surprised to learn that by default, their Cisco devices are being very chatty on the network about their capabilities, about their host name. Cisco devices by default even send out their layer three address information to anyone that'll listen out there on the network wire. It's called Cisco Discovery Protocol, and it was designed to assist us with the important network documentation that we're going to want to create, obviously, for our network infrastructures. But what an incredible security concern. Your Cisco device, once again, telling anyone that'll listen information about itself. Again, host name, IP address information, information that we would definitely not want to fall into the wrong hands, folks. So let's take a look at how we can trim CDP as we commonly really refer to it. We trim it off either the device entirely or we just trim it off an interface. Notice here I'm in global configuration mode. In global configuration mode, we can say no CDP run. That'll turn it off on the device in, in entirety. Now what's much more common is we typically wanna trim it off just a single interface. If this is the case, we would go in and say no CDP enable. And you gotta spell that right, obviously. No CDP enable. That's how easy it is to turn off this behavior on a particular interface. Now, CDP is gonna help us with network documentation. Here to explain the importance of that network documentation for us is our guest expert, Jeff Hardy. Let's bring him in. Please, please invest in documentation. I know it can be a pain. I know it's very detailed work which takes hours to confirm. I know it was probably somebody else's job and you don't know why you've been given the task. Just because you're a junior engineer doesn't mean you can be given all the boring jobs. Just cut it out right there. If you don't have detailed, updated documentation, you don't know your network. And probably one of the best tasks you can do early on as a junior network engineer is to update the company's network documentation. There's no faster way to get a handle on everything that you will be managing. At several companies I worked at, my first task was to create, scary, or to update the documentation. Every time I completed that task though, the overall network management capabilities increased. There was an alert on a circuit that went down. Check the documentation and see what's affected and what to troubleshoot. You don't know why you get some flapping routes. Check the dump documentation and see if something was cabled wrong. Documentation is really one of the most important things for a network engineer. Spend the time to create a reliable resource, even if you have to make it for your own use.